What a lot of information we have at our fingertips through our online world. Just how much is really hard to determine. We can't count physical books on shelves, but nor can we go to one online repository or place where information is held. There simply isn't one location. One way of getting closer to some sort of figure is to think about how much data there is. And by data, I mean information which is stored digitally, that is recorded as on and off signals, as ones and zeros on physical, what we call servers. A server being a physical computer which provides data, which is interpreted and then becomes information displayed on the internet. Links to further explanations about how this information is stored digitally can be found accompanying this video. Here, what is important is that information stored digitally, i.e. data, is something we can start to measure. Just like we have units of measurement for distance, miles, meters, and for weight, pounds, stones, grams, we have a unit of measurement for data, the byte. A byte, a limited group of eight on and off signals, or ones or zeros, or bits, is the simplest unit of data. To give you a sense of just how much information one byte is, we are normally looking at four bytes for one word. But as we know, just one page on the World Wide Web can hold many words, and one resource, such as Wikipedia, a mind-boggling number of words. So there are huge amounts of information to which we can now gain access, and which are stored digitally as many, many bytes of data. And just as we have kilometers and kilograms to express bigger distances and weight, that is bigger units of measurement, we also have bigger units of measurement for data. We have kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. So one kilobyte equals a thousand bytes. One megabyte is the same as a thousand kilobytes. One gigabyte is the same as a thousand megabytes, and one terabyte is the same as a thousand gigabytes. And there are even bigger units of measurement as well. But now, so we have our basic unit of measurement, how much exactly is there to measure? Now, as I said, there is no one place where all the many, many bytes of data are held, so we need to estimate, and at that, quite roughly. But to get somewhat closer to a sum, we can look at how much data is held on servers, those physical computers, which are owned by four big companies, namely Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Facebook. And just taking these, we could be looking at 1.2 million terabytes of data. Now that is a lot of data.